Unitank and Bright Tank, which to choose. To decide which to choose between Unitanks and Bright Tanks, it's necessary to understand factors that make each one distinct. The primary difference between them is the shape. The main body of the Unitanks is a cylinder, but the bottom drops into a cone shape. Unitanks work well for both fermentation and aging since their shape creates a space for the yeast to accumulate at the bottom, making it easy to filter out later. Bright tanks also have a cylindrical center, but they have a flat bottom. Technically, fermenting in a bright tank is possible, but its shape would make filtering out the yeast problematic. Because of this, they're typically only used for aging and maturation, as well as a place to hold beer until it is packaged or served. 1. Benefits of Unitanks Simplicity being able to combine the fermenting and aging step streamlines the brewing process by removing a step. Because of this, breweries can buy less equipment, which saves money and space in a brew house. Lower risk of contamination every time beer is taken out of a tank, it is exposed to the open air leading to dissolved oxygen. This can be especially problematic if you plan on packaging and distributing your beer outside of a taproom. Along with this, beer may also be exposed to other contaminants like microorganisms. 2. Benefits of Bright Tanks Larger quantity of beer production Some facilities brew so much beer the process of brewing and packaging are two separate operations. In these instances, fermenting beer and serving it would need to be done in two separate areas of the brew house, making uni tanks impractical. Improved clarity Bright beer tanks are called bright because of the clarity of the beer they produce. When beer goes from a fermenter to a bright tank, the yeast is filtered out first. This extra layer of filtration before undergoing further maturation and carbonation produces a clearer beer, which some brewhouses prefer. 3. Choosing between the tanks. Unitanks are the perfect choice for microbreweries or brew pubs. For these facilities, space is often limited, the brewery isn't producing as many barrels of beer, and the emphasis is less on packaging and more on serving brews directly. Unitanks work well in these contexts because they save space and labor without muddling the productivity of a separate packaging team. Bright tanks are better for larger scale productions, especially productions that rely on packaging and shipping much of their product. Bright tanks allow you to leave more fermenters open at a time. And because bright tanks can carry more liquid in them at a time, they lend themselves to larger beer outputs. Generally, if you've gone over the edge and are brewing more barrels than a microbrewery, it may be a good idea to look at a bright tank.